happy Saturday, January 28th. If you can't tell, we are moving. Things are a mess. I have Ajax cleaning stuff all over my shirt. We are definitely in a period of transition. We move out tomorrow and we move in to our new place on February 8th. Yeah, I just wanted to document a few of our last moments in this apartment and just capture a few of my thoughts to look back to one day, hopefully in six months or so when we're settled into the new state. For those of you who watched my last video, I did mention we're not just leaving the state we are leaving the region and we are moving to east tennessee i'm so excited and i feel so much peace i just feel like this decision and this journey of moving out has been lasting forever because it was in the summer that we decided to consider moving i think it was in august that we decided that we would move we let our jobs know we're both gonna be working remotely. And then since August, it's been finding a new apartment complex and getting together a moving plan. And we're finally here. Yeah, so why we are moving, it's probably worth a whole other video. Essentially what prompted it was in the midsummer, Greg had a job change and it wound up being fully remote and very flexible with his living location. And then simultaneously at that same time, we received word that our rent was increasing by like 200 bucks a month. So anyways, with the increase in rent and Greg suddenly working remote, it just opened up a lot of dialogue regarding if we don't move now, now is the perfect time. It is the easiest time to move. We have no kids. We don't own a lot of stuff. We both have flexible jobs. Then when will we? I kind of felt like it was a turning point, like now we're going to move or we're kind of saying we have a great opportunity to move or we're not going to take it and we're likely going to not say that spend the rest of our life here, but we're kind of making that commitment. I'm just really excited. It's just going to be a whole new thing and I am a homebody. I do not do well with change. I love my routine. What's been so tough about this last few days or a few weeks has been Greg and I just destroying the routine that we know um, by packing up everything instead of doing our daily routines like going to the gym we, we've been spending a lot of time packing and I've just been so exhausted so I'm very much a routine person I love my routine it makes me feel complete um, I get honestly not well if I don't have any routine. So anyways, um, we've been destroying our routine by packing everything and just doing all this, but we're gonna be building a new routine on February 8th when we move down. So that's something that I'm really excited about. What else is happening this weekend? Packing, we need to take care of the things on our walls. We need to clean a lot and hopefully not ruin the few clothes that I have not packed. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow, Greg sings at church and then the movers come. So yeah, a lot's happening this weekend, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> stuff is packed and ready. Morgan. Morgan, we're not packing you up. Oh, you little squirrel. I love you. I have this room. The bed chain. Morgan's locked in the bathroom during moving. He's not happy. How do you enjoy moving out, Greg? What are your thoughts? <laughs> I don't like it. I felt a little tempted to cry, but 
it just sucks having all your stuff taken away and it's not a warm and fuzzy service you know so I don't really like that it's like not a service where like there's just warm and fuzzies like they're taking all your stuff it feels kind of sleazy like dealing with car salesmen so I just don't like that I'm a freak for contracts like I just always feel like people are out to get me so that's that but it's a necessary evil so yeah he's meowing from inside the bathroom because he doesn't like being trapped in here oh, it's reminiscent of his bathroom <gasps> days oh yeah when he used to live in the bathroom at the shelter <laughs> oh that's not fun is it it's like not the same. it sucks everything wrapped up looks so sad Snack time. Literally. All that we have. Literally the rest of our food. Yeah. Let's we'll see through on the side. It's probably satisfying to watch it fill up. It is satisfying. That's kind of depressing. Morgan, look, everything's gone. Do you do some of this? I love you. <laughs> Morgan, your emotional roller coaster is my roller coaster, honey. Oh, Romeo is having a malfunction. I don't know what's going on. Are you all right, dude? <laughs> what's happening? Kimmy's in the kitchen. Oh, no, oh, don't bite me. Oh. I'm just petting you. So good. Turn the sweet cheese. How long does it take for your the lines to get unfrozen? Good question, and oh, I think wow. it's kind of iffy because they yeah. Oh. Uh, coffee time. So exciting. I wonder if they treat this table to make sure it doesn't get raised. The new normal. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, around the right. planet. Did I get it now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to film. <laughs> We are headed down. We got Morgan between us. <laughs> he is so handsome. He is on gabapentin. He has taken gabapentin. He has taken his anxiety medication. Greg's in the driver's seat. Um, yeah, so we're officially headed down to Virginia is the halfway point for us and then tomorrow we'll make it to our apartment in Knoxville which is so exciting. Right now we are almost going to be going through New York City so we're hitting traffic. We did our best to time it so that we hit New York City right after the morning rush. Feels really good to be on the road. Some thoughts about this week. I'll say what's good and what's bad. This week has been extremely stressful and emotional. Next off is a very busy time at work. It's year end and it's closing out January books. So it, it's just been very busy. Amidst all the chaos of moving, I've actually appreciated going to work because that's been the only normal thing lately, but it has been very busy. Just that coupled with moving and living at Greg's parents and visiting my family, it's been just crazy. And as you guys know, I'm very type A and I love my routines. I love having my home space and we haven't really had that um, this last week although people have been so gracious to let us spend time with them but of course it's tough um, when you're kind of living out of luggage yeah so that's kind of the bad is it's just been extremely overwhelming there's just been so much to do we didn't take a lot of PTO so like I mentioned it's just been moving and work <laughs> and like nothing in between I'm just really amazed that 
we were able to do all that we did without having to take PTO. And the good is that last night we had dinner out at Tavern in the Square and I just felt so stressed and so overwhelmed. And this whole week I've felt so overwhelmed that I didn't have the chance to feel excitement for the move, despite the fact that it, I still was excited. I just couldn't feel it because I just felt like there were way too many emotions going on. Can't make any more decisions at this point. So I'm feeling really excited and it's a beautiful day and the drive has been going well so far. What do you think, Greg? Do you have any thoughts? I'm glad he stopped meowing, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad we're in traffic. Yes. yes, we are in traffic, but that means we're headed down there, so... I think it's just construction traffic. around lunchtime. We drove four hours this morning. Here, I'll just flip around. All right, it's currently around lunchtime. We drove four hours this morning and we're finally here. We are moving everything in. Morgan is doing so well, which makes me so happy. And we're just so happy to be here. Oh my goodness, it looks so good and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna film moving in and everything, but I definitely wanna do a reflection like a week out. But Greg, how do you feel? What are your first thoughts? Um, happy and grateful, definitely grateful to God for just getting us to this place. Yeah, I feel so grateful, just like Greg. I don't wanna like speak too much on how I feel considering it's literally the first 30 minutes that we're here, but I feel so good. The fact that my clothes are in a closet again and I'm not living in luggage feels amazing. The fact that I love the bathrooms is <laughs> really exciting. They have a really nice shower and a big tub and it's just very handsome. Just like the little touches. I love whatever that touch is. <laughs> I don't even know what artistic touch that is. Um, but just like the pattern on the, the wall there. I don't know anything about decorating, but it's very handsome and it's private, which I really appreciate. So yeah, things feel good. Back to work tomorrow. So yeah, I feel very grateful and I'm just so excited to see things pan out and to like build this new lifestyle. And I can't wait to meet new people and just see what pans out here. I'm very grateful, so. Were you making friends with the property manager? Yes, you were. Standing up on me like a weirdo. Wait, come closer. Look how he's standing up. Um. Well, today is Sunday. We moved in on Wednesday, so we're not very far into our journey. But I just want to close the vlog, and it's really because there's just so much more going on. Like, I think we might pay off our debt this coming week. So I'm just ready to close this vlog because there's Definitely new things coming up on our chapter and I don't want too much in one video. We're feeling really good. We just visited a church and we feel we we're really happy with our experience. When we visited Tennessee a few months ago to visit this apartment complex, we visited a church then and it wasn't the best experience, but we did enjoy this, um, this visit, which is good because community is so important. That will be to be continued um, and we're getting a dining room table today which will be nice because we've literally had no seating <laughs> um, so that's been really tough um, we've literally been sleeping on our camping mat yesterday on Facebook marketplace we found four oak chairs for $50 which was great so we went on a little drive down Al Alcoa Highway um, to a neighborhood to pick up those chairs. I think they're really handsome. There they are. And yesterday we went antiquing in Clinton and that's how we found our dining room table which comes in this afternoon. So yeah, that's really it, but we feel good. Um, we definitely miss the comforts of home, Rhode Island. We miss our loved ones and our family. 
definitely miss our church and all of our friends there. Um, so, yeah. But it's still, it's been a good week, despite it all, so we feel optimistic. Well, thank you for watching. And <laughs> I just look forward to that dining room table. That will be so good. Look at him. He's so handsome. Morgan, who's a good boy?